area I need to reshape with this machine and the back area I need to reshape with this machine. Okay, cool. Can I do a bit of the top? Please. Oh, after Brooks, yeah. can I do Ready? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Ready? This is a customer announcement. Can we please get sales down to 50%? <laughs> For road trip. Road trip. I don't understand anything. 50%. <laughs> Istanbul. <laughs> Please phone. Stop it. Bob, it's um. Hello. 
Because I want it all <laughs> on nothing at... We're singers. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful here, man. It is, this beautiful. is lovely. What a lovely country. We were just being explained that this is like Christian and Muslim together and everyone goes to used to go to pray there together, which is really nice. It's cool, really cool looking building. You don't get this stuff in London. No. There are some cool buildings in London though. Yeah. That is pretty incredible. It is. And this is a fountain. Brooke's going to jump in it in a minute. I am. Oh, sorry, sir. You all right? Is he? Are you all right? Dad, we need help. Dad, you need medical Dad, assistance. Quick. Dad, I think I might have knocked his follicles out. So we got Harry, Zane, Lipson, <laughs> and Zane. And <laughs> Yeah, he's. he's <laughs> 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 Yours is looking a lot better today. Yeah. His, hair's, his hairline's recovering. His donor area. His looks pretty sick. What's and mine say? Yours, your Buzz Lightyear, sir. I got a massive scar in mine. No, you, no, you don't. Dad hit me. He <laughs> don't. <laughs> <laughs> Shush. No, you don't, sir. Yours, look, yours looks good as well, mate. Good recovery. <laughs> Just rub it off your, rub it off your head. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. The sun's out, which is nice. The, the what out? <laughs> the sun's out. La sun's out. <laughs> La sun's. <laughs> Spanish with my big fat body. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you made a funny. <laughs> yeah, of course. Hair of Istanbul, thank you very much. <laughs> start no, again. no. Hair, hair. Start, start again, start again, start again. We want, to say, we want to say, in all seriousness, a massive thank you to Hair of Istanbul, yeah. Yusuf, and everyone there. We appreciate you. Thank you for inviting us to your lovely country and helping us sort our issues out. And you've really looked after us as well. Like even yeah. through like the whole surgery and the procedure and stuff on the day, yeah. you guys were like making us like feel welcome and calm. Yeah. It was, it, you was calming t towards us. It was like, <laughs> sorry, sorry, my choice of words are bad, but honestly. He misses his mum. I, I miss my, so dad, come here, dad. <laughs> no, no, but go mate. Like, Turkey's obviously never somewhere. <laughs> Thanks, man. No, come on. Get involved. Tur Turkey's obviously somewhere we've never been before. So be to be able to come here and get something that we've all wanted done, done for by amazing people like Hair of Istanbul. We also get to experience the culture, see Istanbul, obviously a really famous city in Europe as well. It's been a great experience, so thank you for no, having thank me. You. And we found out some interesting facts. 16 million people live here, that's more than London. I always thought London was the biggest city in Europe. And yeah. 59, no, 15 million, 900,000 of them have great hairlines thanks to Hair of Istanbul. Yeah. <laughs> Hair of Istanbul. Whoa! Wait, wait, this is mad! Sorry, I just wanna... <laughs> there we go! For five minutes, but then they didn't have one big enough for right, so we're now not hidden, Massive but... Massive head. Yeah. Massive head. Really big, bold head. He's big. got big balls. Bulbous. Big balls. <laughs> big balls. Big balls. There was a steak. It was golden. <laughs> Sopia, are you okay? Are you okay, Sopia? Sopia, oh. you <laughs> You've been hit by a golden steak. Hair with a sample. Oh, I feel really dizzy now. Thank you, sir. Never do, never do an MJ impression with a hair transplant. Thank you. For all these gloves for? These are so when you pick up the burger, you don't get stuck on your hands. And, and other things. Yeah, just right. <laughs> Come here then. <laughs> <laughs> These gloves are from Salt Bay's restaurant, which is cool. This is so we all took some to go home with. Oh, that's a gold steak. That steak is gold. It's golden. Oh, oh look how easy it cuts. Whoa. Go on, Yusuf. Go on, Yusuf. Oh, you're yes. Good you're such a good father. <laughs> you're a good... <laughs> you get a photo of it. 
Oh, that's mad. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Gold steak. Oh, look at, oh my gosh, it looks like he's about to, that looks so dangerous. Whoa. It's the sorbet, yeah. yes. Ooh, ooh. Good girl. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you, Hair of Istanbul. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> We're at the clinic now. Hair of Istanbul is going to go clean our heads for the first time. I'm going to be so excited to wash my hair. I know, it's bad, isn't it? It's so sick. <laughs> What's up guys? Ooh. So we just wanted to debunk a few myths about getting your hair transplanted abroad. If you're from the UK or from America, it could be quite a scary thing to go to a different country where you've not met any people, any representatives. Um, and you're going to go for like quite a long surgery for eight hours. People are really skeptical, but we can guarantee you that we've come here. These guys have been so accommodating. They put us in five star accommodation, looked after us and checked on us morning and night. They've put us through like the best surgery with like the best doctors that we could have asked for. And we're, all, we're only like two days after surgery and we feel really good. Uh, we feel like we've got loads of energy. Little bit of swelling, little bit sore, but we've just had a nice clean, which was a uh, very useful and the itching's now died down but they're about to send us on our way back to the UK with all these products and a list of instructions, videos to watch and what to do. It couldn't be a better service and me personally I've had my hair, I've had my hair transplanted before in the UK and it doesn't even come close to how good we've been treated here so there's, there's myths but they're all yeah, wrong. Yeah there's a couple of stigmas as well about being from the UK and coming to places like Istanbul and getting it done. We can all say that Istanbul is one of the nicest places we've ever been as a band. Uh, everyone here has been very lovely and it's a very normal thing to have a hair transplant here so we were taken out by hair of Istanbul into the centre uh, and no one looked at us as if we were weird or abnormal or freaks, they, everyone just accepted it as normal so we didn't feel insecure so a lot of people are worried that if you have it done you have to stay inside and stay in bed for a month, you don't have to, no, you just no. head out and be yourself and own it essentially. Mm. So yeah, from, from all of us, uh, we just want to say a massive thank you to thank hair you. of Istanbul to everyone associated with them for having us. We even mm -hmm. slept through the surgery. Well, I think I did, you, yeah. you struggled yeah. too. It was I really did, relaxing. I did struggle to yeah. sleep a little bit, but I could have done. I was just yeah. busy talking to the doctor, yeah. having a bit of fun. Um, How but did no, you it was really on? good. No, I was fine, yeah, it was really relaxing the whole way through. Really yeah. relaxing, There's yeah. loads of doctors and people there to put you at ease and answer questions and stuff trans like yeah, Translators as well, like, helped yeah. you through different, uh, with a language barrier and stuff, so it's really, really... Yeah. I just want to reiterate as well that I've had my hairline transplanted before, you can see the scar. I had it done about three years ago in the UK where I thought that's where I should go and do it because it's the UK. And they literally, I went there, they did the surgery, it sent me on my way and that was it. With like an advice on what products to use and things. And the results weren't that good. I ended up having thin sort of hair. Um, I had this big scar that they didn't treat very well. I was in quite a lot of pain for a few months. Like, I just, like it's not even comparable how good the quality is here to other places. Um, that this has helped me a lot in that I've now got much better results um, with a great team and a support because they, they, we've got a, um, sorry, I don't, I don't know what the name is, but like an advisor for the next mm, few months yeah. who's going to keep up to date with our progress. So supportive, so good. So for anyone else out there who's like us in our situation, especially like myself who had a really bad, like kind of insecure about the hairline, this will help you a lot and it's, it's a good thing. And luckily for us, well, this is our first time and it's gonna be our last because these guys have made sure we'll thank never you. have to have this done again and we've got good hairlines for life. Mm. So thank you so much to everyone from Istanbul. Thank you. We've been road trip and we've enjoyed being here. Thank you. It's been awesome. Adios. Yeah.